Aaron, good evening. This meeting tonight was jam-packed with lots of parents, many of which still pointing direct blame at Ted Knight, calling for his resignation. Others calling on the community to bring the temperature down. Mounting frustration at the Carmel Unified School District meeting Wednesday night, following the high school principal's termination from his position amid a flurry of sexual assault and harassment allegations. I have heard some of the ugliest combinations of words and emails and public comment recently. I understand that you are upset and you're wanting to know more. I wish I could tell you. The incident that led to Principal John Lyons firing is still under investigation, but the firing has touched off a firestorm. School Board President Tess Arthur resigning at the start of the meeting, saying the situation is getting out of hand. We are an incredible school district and our kids are suffering because of the adults. I am resigning from the Board of Education. Specifics as to why Principal John Lyons was let go from his position have not been revealed to the public or Lyons himself. All he can say is that it stems from a matter involving a student's behavior. My understanding of that conversation was they were looking at a particular student's um, behavior support plan. Um, my role was to come in and just provide additional information that I might have around other incidents that that particular student might have been involved in. Lyons telling Action News the formal process of investigating sexual harassment and assault claims were strictly followed. And he confirms he has recommended expulsion on these matters in the past. Whether the school board expelled someone has not been confirmed. At the meeting, Lyons took to the stand pleading for his job back. I'm just asking for the chance. I want to go home. I want to go back to my job. That received a standing ovation from this student. He's really been supportive for me whenever I go in, go in to talk to him. Uh, I feel like he really cares about the students. But there have been multiple allegations of sexual assault and harassment resurfacing in recent days. One Carmel High School graduate took to the podium to share that her friend was, quote, violently assaulted and now has an eating disorder. No one in the administration was ever able to provide me with concrete evidence of either action or law preventing them from it. I spent so much of my time on this to have no results. Some parents sympathetic to the board as it investigates. Others still pointing blame at Superintendent Ted Knight and pushing for a vote of no confidence. I question the board if Ted Knight is upholding his superintendent responsibilities. They are bullies who continue to defame those that speak up, including us, the parents. I demand a no vote confidence on Ted Knight. Thank you for your service, but we have not been now, one parent that took to the podium said that when it comes to sexual harassment, uh, assault and bullying, that this is all the tip of the iceberg. And it seems that as this story unfolds, more allegations come out and resurface. Though, of course, those allegations not directly tied to the principal's termination, but still putting pressure on the school district. Live in Carmel, I'm Christian Balderas, KCW, Action News 8.